Hello, and welcome to PTI's Demo Center. My name is Oliver Stauffer, CEO of PTI Inspection Systems. PTI has over 35 years of inspection leak detection technology experience. We're focused on high-risk leak detection applications and parenteral leak testing technologies. Today, we're going to be talking about two of our five core technologies here at PTI, vacuum decay and high-voltage leak detection. These are two important technologies for the parenteral product classes, vials, pre-filled syringes, IV bags, anything where leak detection requires detecting defects below that 10 micron level. This is certainly a high risk space that requires the highest level of reliability and test technology. High voltage leak detection is a technology that's focused on parenteral vials and pre-filled syringes. It's using electricity and the principles of electricity to determine if the container has a defect or leak in the body. PTI's version of high voltage is called microcurrent high voltage. It's a very unique technology and is focused on biologics and large molecule applications. It certainly works for all liquid fill parenteral products. What makes PTI's microcurrent high voltage different than other technologies out there is it operates with a lower exposure voltage. So the product is exposed to less voltage when it's being inspected. It also can operate with a much more diverse range of liquid products so that it really, if you're dealing with a low conductivity liquid versus and a high conductivity liquid, this technology can inspect these products and inspect that full range with very little modification to the system. In this technology, we're, as the high voltage and the ground probe follow along the container to identify if there is a breach in that container wall. The basic principle of high voltage is that you have two resistive layers of the, the glass vial. It could also be a plastic vial or syringe. And as long as both sides are intact, the voltage will not arc through the container. If there is a micro crack or a defect in this glass, the voltage will then be able to arc through the container and we detect that spike in the voltage. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about the vacuum decay family of test systems. And PTI's vacuum decay technologies have been around for quite a long time. In this uh, first demo here, we have the Veripac 355. This technology is a, ver is a deep vacuum leak testing system and it's using a single transducer. It is our base entry model and is often used for uh, very basic applications for parenteral leak testing. The sensitivity of this test system is down to approximately five microns for a rigid container, but you can also leak test flexible packaging and IV bags down to approximately 10 or 15 microns, depending on the size and container uh, uh, conditions. The leak test is a fairly uh, straightforward, fast test cycle. In vacuum decay, what we are doing is you place the container in a fixed test chamber, close that test chamber, and when you start that leak test, it's going to pull vacuum down to a target vacuum level and monitor that vacuum level for any change in pressure. If the container is good, then no air is evacuating out of the container to change the pressure inside this test chamber. And we detect that as a good product. If the container does have a defect, then air will evacuate through that defect into the test chamber. And we are going to detect a change in pressure in this test chamber. Now you may be asking, well, with a vial or other parenteral product, if there is a defect in the gas head space, that makes perfect sense. If the defect is in the liquid space of that container, how, does, how do we detect a defect? And what occurs at that deep vacuum state is we're actually pulling such a deep vacuum that the liquid is turning to gas or vapor, and that is what would change the pressure in this test chamber in the event that there is a defect present. Now this is all good and well, as long as we have a small molecule product or a product in which case the liquid is, is not going to plug the defect, right? If we were to take a pure liquid and, and put a droplet on this bench top and wait a day, that liquid would have disappeared or vaporized. If you put salt water here on this bench top, 
and we weighed it one day, you would find a little bit of salt in that location. And if you placed a droplet of a biological drug on this benchtop and we waited one day, what would happen is you would see that the dissolved solute, that biologic, whatever is left over would be encrusted in that place. So the same goes for a defect, a vacuum decay defect. If there is a large molecule parenteral, that defect site may plug if we do not test down to the, the appropriate vacuum level, if we do not test fast enough, and if that large molecule is in fact viscous or of such a high concentration that it would plug that defect. Now the Veripack 355 can produce a leak test uh, result in approximately 15 seconds. With vacuum decay, the more sensitive that you would like to be, the longer that test cycle needs to be. So moving along, we're going to talk about the 400 series. This is PTI's Veripack 425. The 425 is a regulated vacuum system, and it can operate down to approximately 250 millibars of pressure. So this technology is actually not going down to that very deep vacuum, but is excellent for more dry fill pharmaceutical applications. This is a dual transducer technology and is sensitive to dry fill applications down to that five micron level. If there is a liquid fill application, again, we need to go down to a deep vacuum such that you can vaporize liquids. The 400 series and the 300 series, these are all systems that you can operate using PTI's 21 CFR Part 11 package for data integrity. That's very critical in the regulated environment. So moving along, the Veripac 455 is the next step up from the 425. This 400 series model can do everything. It has a deep vacuum capability. It has a regulated vacuum capability. It's operating with dual transducers. It's sensitive down to that one micron, one and a half micron level in the best of circumstances. The system, we validate it using actual laser drill defects in the containers. And you can see here is also a flow meter to insert a regulated flow rate into the system so that we can simulate a flow rate when you're challenging the, the, the test and the test capability. At the beginning of batch and end of batch, using a flow meter to challenge your test system is absolutely critical. Using a real defect for beginning, beginning of batch and end of batch test validation is not recommended because real defects are dynamic. They can, in fact, plug. They can change in size. They can become bigger or they can become restricted. And so for beginning and end of batch, it is important to use a flow meter, which is NIST traceable. So this is your grounding such that you know exactly what the capability of this test system is and how well it works. So in this case, we see is the vacuum decay, uh, this is the, the operator module. Again, the system does operate using an ethos pass, uh, capability package. But the operator can also simply operate it straight out of, uh, straight from the screen. All the test results are recorded here. There are multiple password levels on the system such that the a supervisor can develop the proper test methods. An operator can select which test method it would like to run. An operator can also input in batch information and other critical information. And in, in this case, when you do run a test and there is a leak, you will see the change in pressure increases to above a threshold level, and it produces a pass-fail result. All of these technologies are quantitative in nature, but they do provide a definitive pass-fail result. The Veripack 455 has been a very excellent base model for parenteral leak testing. It's very sensitive. It's going down to that one micron level for parenteral products. And oftentimes, we know the need to go down to below one micron level in sensitivity. The Kirsch criterion and the studies from 1997 show that defects below one micron are very critical. And so to get below that one micron level, 
You can do that using a variety of technologies, but that brings us to PTI's next generation vacuum decay solution. And that's the Veripak 465. PTI's Veripak 465 is very similar to the other vacuum decay technologies. PTA has improved the sensory capability and the overall inspection instrumentation within this test system. And what that allows is for a very, very low baseline for good quality samples and good quality packages. And then a defect will show, them, show itself more readily or more effectively. We see here the test chamber is integrated right into the test stand so that, that it makes for a much smaller test volume. It also allows for us to have a flow meter that's digi a digital flow meter that's integrated into the system so that we can actually, instead of manually adjusting a flow meter, this system, you will plug in the exact flow rate that one would want to detect. And the flow meter, which is a digital device here, will be set to that exact flow rate. So if we go ahead and test, in a very short test cycle, we can determine if this has a defect down to that half a micron to 0.7 micron level. Again, the sensitivity of a vacuum decay leak test is dependent on a variety of factors, including the container type and the length of that test cycle. This technology is the most sensitive vacuum-based leak detection technology available today on the market. It's very simple, it's reliable, it does not require any trace gas, sample preparation, any other type of destructive approaches to prepare the sample. And once a test is completed, you get a clear past result. In this case, the test cycle is approximately 20 seconds and we can detect a defect down below that one micron level. All of these technologies are operating using PTI's 21 CFR Part 11 package, which is a, a separate PC-based data integrity package that operates using the client's active directory and login credentials. In this case, the Veripak 465, this model has an embedded PC and is operating using an ethos based uh, platform. An operator can come up to the system, log into the machine, and once they log in, they have the proper credentials to run the test system. And with that, every keystroke, every function will then be recorded. As you can see with this test cycle, we see a failed result with the flow control open. Vacuum decay is certainly one of the most simple, one of the most basic container closure integrity test systems. PTI has worked very hard to make sure that we have a model and a technology for every level of sensitivity, capability, and need that clients have. At the highest level, the Veripak 465 offers you the most excellent test reliability, sensitivity, and capability. At PTI, we always say, if you do not have a reliable test method, you do not have a test method. Our technologies offer you a wide range of capability, and regardless of your container type, the product type, or the application, whether it be high voltage leak detection or vacuum decay, PTI is able to serve you with our technologies to meet your container closure integrity needs. Thank you.